Hello guys and welcome to another studio session with Ben and Rebecca from His and Hers Vlogs and today we're sharing one of our favorite RV life activities, Hot Springs. So we're going to share seven places with you that we love and then one place that maybe wasn't so stellar. Questionable. Yeah, definitely. You know, we weren't big into hot springs before we started RVing, but on our first road trip to the lower 48, we really found them to be a source of respite and bathing. <laughs> <laughs> and we found out that if you're looking for them, they're actually everywhere. First up on the list, China Hot Springs Resort, north of Fairbanks, Alaska. This was our first hot springs experience prior to the full-time RVing chapter of our lives. And it was amazing to the point that we have bought a punch card for return visits and we've also visited the campground with our motorhome and stayed for a couple nights. There's a few pretty special things about China Hot Springs that we need to note. The entire property is powered off of geothermal energy. Awesome. They have an ice museum as well that's spectacular inside. There's a greenhouse and they grow like tomatoes and vegetables that find their way into the restaurant. And as for the hot springs, they're pretty awesome. They're a little on the hot side. So you're gonna enjoy them a little bit more in spring or fall or the dead of winter. They are open year round and they have Aurora viewing trips and they get quite a bit of tourism because I guess if you procreate under the Northern Lights, your baby comes out a little special. Well, maybe not special, but you know what I mean. I don't even know how to follow that one up and I've got to stop laughing in order to do number two, which is Hot Well Dunes, just outside of Bowie, Arizona, right off of the 10. So this is BLM land. One of the best parts about it is it's only three bucks a night to camp there. The hot springs are kind of special in the sense that they are solar powered. So there's big tubs, two of them. They uh, fill in the morning when the sun comes up and they empty at night when the sun goes down. So clean water every day and to keep the riffraff out at night. We really enjoyed the host that uh, was there. He's been there for about a decade has the same ATV as us, so clearly has good taste, and actually took us on a little ATV tour of the area, which was a lot of fun. We went back and saw kind of this dam and the beautiful scenery around the area. It's just a fantastic place, and we met a lot of really cool people there. Next up on the list, and number three, Bozeman Hot Springs in Montana. Our stay here was anything but planned. If you're traveling through Montana in the fall, winter weather can pretty much hit at any time, and this was the case. We took respite in their full hookup RV park for two, maybe three nights, and loved every minute of it. The hot springs portion was borderline luxurious. The grounds are beautiful, indoor and outdoor. There's a fitness center, there's a stage, truly worth putting on your list. So next up is Franklin Hot Springs, just outside of Paso Robles, California. Now this one actually doesn't make our list of places we recommend you visit. In fact, it is more to prove the point that they aren't all going to be perfect. When we arrived, the grounds were pretty unkempt. Lots of junk cars and the buildings weren't really kept up. When we got to the water, it looked like it had to share with ducks. My mind was thinking, warm water, feces with bacteria, I don't think so. And now back to the nice ones. Number four, Liard Hot Springs, Northern British Columbia, Canada. Located right off of the Alaska Highway, it's a very popular spot for travelers. For obvious reasons, you can take a soak, get cleaned up, there's a campground on site, a cafe across the street. The boardwalk down to the pools is beautiful. It takes you through a marsh where you get to see all kinds of wildlife. Once you're at the pools, there's changing rooms, benches, steps down in, even a ramp. A bit of a pro tip for hot springs, there's generally going to be a source where the hot water comes into the pool and then obviously that water goes out. But what you get to do is you get to find your sweet spot and dial in that temperature so you can truly enjoy your soak. Moving right along down the Alcan Highway puts us at number five, Taukini Hot Springs. You'll find this place just outside of Whitehorse in the Yukon Territory of Canada. Little bit different than Liard in the sense that it's a commercial operation instead of wild, 
but the pools are lovely. One end is super hot, the other end is almost like a swimming pool temperature. They've got a restaurant on site, they've got uh, changing rooms and showers, people at the front desk are super friendly. Great big parking lot for your RV, and while we haven't stayed there, they've got a pretty snazzy looking campground just down the road. Number six, and for those of you following our channel, you've been waiting for me to bring it up, Mammoth Hot Springs located off of California's 395. This highly active geothermal area sits about 7,000 foot of elevation in a beautiful valley. The Eastern Sierra Mountains are towering to the west, gorgeous views everywhere. There's pools throughout the entire valley. I'm sure there's some secret ones that only the locals know about. My favorite were called Wild Willies. A nice wooden boardwalk takes you down to the water. One is heart shaped and very small. You probably only fit like six or seven people in. The next one's a little bit larger and gives you the option of dialing in your sweet spot for temperature. Free camping everywhere, gorgeous views, definitely a bucket list destination. Okay, last but not least, number seven. We're gonna stay in California for this one, but head down to the Imperial Valley near the Salton Sea. We're talking about Glamis North Hot Springs Resort. Not to be confused with the Glamis Sand Dunes, which you find a little south. This is a nice little commercial resort. They've got multiple warm swimming pools. They've got these great little tubs you can fill up with hot water for yourself. They've got full hookup RV sites, which we found out was pretty important because we were there when it's supposed to be cool and it was unseasonably hot to the point that we needed to run our AC. They've also got cabins that you can stay in if you don't bring your RV. And if you have a Jeep or some other kind of off-roading vehicle, there are trails everywhere. All right, guys, we hope you enjoyed this list of seven amazing hot springs to visit in your RV travels. We know there's a lot of other ones out there, so be sure to put them in the comments below. Yep, and if you're not already subscribed, go ahead and hit that button. Be sure to follow us on our other social media outlets. Like, comment, and share. Thanks for joining us today. Bye.